What is up, you guys? The Dominator, Dominic Flores, back with you guys here today. And usually I have figures and stuff displayed on, but sadly we had no unboxings this weekend. We did have a toy hunt, so you can go check that out. Um, so yeah, and also we introduced gaming uh, into onto this channel. Um, so we'll do that every Tuesday and Thursday. Right now, I'm playing WWE Raw vs. SmackDown 2007, so go check that video out as well, and thank you for almost 30 subscribers in only one month. Now, I did YouTube for a whole summer uh, last year, and I only got about 9 subscribers, so this is definitely a step in the right direction, and um, I should be bringing you a 4th of July vlog, um, so that will go up probably Wednesday, because I have to edit it. The next day, um, and what else will I probably be doing? Oh, my birthday weekend vlog, um, it's not really my birthday, but I'm going with my grandpa and aunt, um, so, yeah, we should have fun there and see what I get, but maybe I'll do three vlogs or, uh, one long vlog on Monday or Sunday, I'm not for sure yet, uh, I'll have to plan it out, but, yeah, also my birthday party vlog, that should be coming, so a few vlogs, I said I wouldn't do vlogs, but, you know, maybe I'll throw a few in, um, but yeah, anyways, let's get into this week's WWE results, and let's kick off with Monday Night Raw, when Roman Reigns was out cutting a promo on Braun Strowman, and, uh, Roman Reigns, uh, saw an ambulance back up in the arena, it's like, what is that? Of course, it's Braun! So, yeah, Braun Strowman comes out and attacks Roman, puts him in the ambulance, so that's cool. Uh, Finn Balor and the Hardy Boys pick up the victory against Elias Samson, Cesaro, and Sheamus. Uh, this, I don't know. Leave it down in the comments below what you thought about this segment, but the, uh, the Ball family was on this TV. It was freaking hilarious. Like, no, it wasn't meant to be, I don't know, well, it was meant to be hilarious, I don't even know what to say about it. But, yeah, if you check out my wrestling amino, uh, at the Dominator's Toy Show, you, uh, my background critics, uh, when he's walking out, doing that weird uh, LeVar Ball doing that weird thing, but yeah, uh, actually, if you didn't know, I like the Lakers, so I was happy that they were, uh, uh the Ball family was on, uh, Raw, because, if you didn't know, uh, Lonzo Ball is going to the LA Lakers second round pick, so yeah, comment down below if you have a favorite sports team or anything, but, yeah, that was a pretty funny segment, and then that brought us into... You never see Slater and Rhino versus The Miz and The Miz Taraj. And The Miz Taraj get the win. And, uh, the Miz and The Miz Taraj, sorry. Uh, Goldust debuts the Shattered Truth in Hollywood. Um, and they were supposed to have a match between R-Truth and Goldust because they've been building up for weeks now. But I guess we see the Great Balls of Fire, SummerSlam, both, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. And Goldust just attacked him. I did like how he had the cameraman wearing gold. That was cool. And with the gold camera, so. Also, we had Big Cass teasing the, um, uh, Big Cass teasing, uh, re um, a get, I don't know how to put this, or uh, rejoining with Enzo, I guess. Uh, and, uh, making the tag team Again, Angel and Cass, which I love that tech team. Why did you break them up? I don't know. I guess they were kind of getting boring. But, yeah, Enzo begged for him to join him again. And then when it was about to cut to the next segment, Big Cass is holding Enzo's hands up and clothesline and then just destroys him. Uh, Seth Rollins picks up the win against Kurt Hawkins. And Bray Wyatt did this creepy promo thing. So, yeah. Samoa Joe traps Brock Lesnar in the coat. 
Keenan Clutch. And then our main event of the evening was Sasha Banks versus Bailey versus Dana Brooke versus Mickey James versus Emma versus Nia Jax in a gauntlet match. Um, and Sasha Banks ends up winning. I guess it's because she's doing this team. She's nominated for this Teen Choice Awards uh, thing. So, yeah. So we found out a few matches actually on this card, or er, on this Raw. We found out Neville will face Akira Tozawa for the Cruiserweight Championship. Um, what else? We also found out that, uh, of course, Sasha Banks will face off against Alexis the Bliss at uh, Great Balls of Fire, and I think there was one more match. Pretty sure, I think they announced Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt at Great Balls of Fire. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that happened, but anyways, uh, so yeah, yeah, they did announce that, okay. So, 205 Alive, Gentleman Jack Gallagher defeat D. Brian Kendrick, back at it again with, wait, did they do, no, that was Akira Tazal, never mind, uh, but Jack Gallagher defeats Brian Kendrick via disqualification. Mustafa Ali defeat Drew Gulak. Um, Ariana Navari defeat Cedric Alexander. Cruiserweight champion Neville and Akira Tozawa get physical. So I guess they had a brawl. But anyway, so that was 205 Alive. Alright, now we go to SmackDown. Yeah. The Hype Bros lose to the Usos, so the Usos defeat the Hype Bros. Uh, and if the Hype Bros won, then they would have got a title shot, but of course they didn't. But the New Day uh, won in their rematch, and they got it. Um, and next week, they're having a rap battle. I don't know. SmackDown Women's Champion Naomi retains her title against Lana in a quick match, and that match was literally like a minute long. Uh... Randy Orton demands a rematch with Jinder Mahal, and uh, if you checked out my Wrestling Amino, um, I posted a poll. Were you guys happy to see the Punjabi Prison match back? Uh, I voted yes on my, my poll, so you can go vote for that. That voting still is up. Um, uh, Baron Corbin versus Sami Zayn. Baron Corbin wins. Uh, and we found out that... Um, there will be an Independence Day Battle Royal, baby. Um, so, and then a winner will face Kevin Owens um, at Battleground. So, cool. And, of course, we had the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, so, yeah, it was an insane match. I don't see why. Why would you have James Ellsworth do that in the very first match? I could see second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever, down the line. But in the very first match, that doesn't make any sense to me, at least. I don't know. Uh, but over, leave down in the comments below what you thought of um, SmackDown this week. I thought it was pretty good. But anyways, Carmella re uh, retains the title. Uh, we already did 205 Alive results. And now NXT. This show is pretty good, too. I actually watched this week's. Velveteen Dream defeat Ho Ho Loon in pretty quick fashion. Hideo and Tommy defeated Oni Lorcan. Uh, they first started the match, and then, jeez, Oni Lorcan hit Hideo with a huge uppercut. And he, Hideo, I think, broke his nose, but he came back down the ring. But that's bad. That's bad. Is Hideo and Tommy injured again? I mean, he did get his rematch, so or his match for the NXT title, but still, I mean, that's three injuries in the last two years or something like that, but I don't know, and of course, the NXT Women's Champion, Asuka defeats Nikki Cross in the last woman's standing match, and that match was <clears throat> really, really good, um, so yeah, Oh, also we learned that Kashi Atono and Hideo Itami will team up to go against uh, Sanity next week, so yeah. And I think next week we will see, yeah, I think next week we see the NXT Championship on the line. Bobby Roode versus, um, what's, what's 
face. Roderick Strong. So, yeah. So my wrestlers of the week. We'll start with Monday Night Raw, and that will go to um, Samoa Joe, actually, because I mean he put the co King and Clutch on Brock. They had to separate him, so I'm gonna give it to uh, Samoa Joe. SmackDown got to go to Carmella. I mean, she retain she got her briefcase back so yeah uh, i'm gonna give it to carmella it, it was a pretty good um pretty good uh money in the bank women's ladder match uh for 205 live i'm gonna give it to uh akira tozawa i mean he's taking a step in the right direction challenging for the nxt title so good for him and of course my nxt wrestler of the week is Asuka retaining her uh, NXT Women's Championship against Nikki Cross, uh, and what was a great match, and she's she's beat CM Punk Strain, and I mean, that's a big achievement. She's held it, what, almost two, in a, one and a half years, so who will beat her? Leave it down in the comments below. I personally think it will probably be Ember Moon, or I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, yeah, um, go check out my videos. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Um, uh, and also, uh, another video that may be happening next week is a QA. and a Because we're about to hit 50 followers on Wrestling Amir, so get down there, follow me. And if we hit 50 followers I will, on Wrestling Amino, I will do a Q&A um, in a chat. I'll have a little chat, and you can uh, ask me questions, and then I'll put that video up. So, what we're looking at next week is uh, Monday, we're probably going to have a uh, toy hunt or an unboxing, maybe both, I don't know. So, one of those, uh, probably Tuesday, we're looking at video games. Uh, Wednesday, we're looking at vlog from 4th of July. Um, let's see. Thursday, we're looking at, um, video game. Friday, we're looking at possibly three videos. I don't think three, but, uh, no, I, you know what? I'm actually going to, uh, combine all the vlogs in one video so friday saturday sunday so yeah in all one vlog um but yeah friday uh i think isn't great balls of fire next weekend i'm pretty sure it is but so yeah i think great balls of fire is next weekend so on friday we'll have this again wwe result and um we'll have um Trade Balls of Fire, um, prediction, sorry, I blanked for a second, and then, uh, Monday we'll have, I know we'll definitely have, uh, Great Balls of Fire, results and reactions, and, um, my birthday week as well, and then the following Monday, I know it's a lot, uh, well, actually, yeah, probably Monday, I'll try and get it edited if not tuesday uh well on my birthday vlog so anyways yeah i i blinked for a little bit so sorry hopefully um this video uploads though because i don't i don't know i don't want to make it again so don't forget to like share and subscribe go follow me on my wrestling email at the dominators toy show and as always thank you guys for watching dflow out